In this video, we'll be looking at a new way to enhance the contrast of microscopy images. Microscopy is a powerful tool in the field of biology, but the low contrast, as you can see here, often makes it difficult to detect minuscule structures within cells. This is where a new method comes in, which uses ultraviolet light to enhance image contrast. But before we get into that, let's look at normal bright field microscopy, which is challenging. Without a special treatment, cells do not absorb light and therefore are simply invisible. Usually, researchers have only two options. Label the sample with dyes, which may alter the cell structure, or use a phase-sensitive microscope. Phase microscopy works like this. When light passes through cells, the refractive index of the cell affects the speed of light, resulting in a phase difference compared to unimpeded light. As this difference is not noticeable in bright field microscopy, the resulting images appear translucent and void of contrast. It requires dedicated methods like phase contrast and differential phase contrast microscopy to convert the phase differences into visible intensity differences. The intensity values are rather arbitrary and do not correspond directly to any physical property. Such quantitative measurements need more advanced methods that involve the recording of interferograms. Examples include holotomography, OCT or QPM. The hallmark of these techniques is their reliance on a reference beam to map minuscule differences to the probing beam via interferometry, which complicates the required setup but gives quantitative information. However, now there is a third route to obtain contrast in unlabeled samples. The new method, which was developed at the Arctic University of Norway, uses UV light to enhance image contrast, in particular C-band ultraviolet light, which experiences much greater absorption and specificity in cells than visible light. Absorption increases as wavelength decreases, with a pronounced spike as we reach the UVC. This absorption increase is largely due to nucleic acids and proteins, which have absorption peaks at 260 nanometer and 280 nanometer respectively. To develop that new technique though, the scientists had to overcome several challenges. For instance, commonly used microscope objectives are made from glass and just don't transmit UVC light. The researchers solved this by using a mirror-based objective. Although normally not considered high in A, the researchers still achieved an impressive resolution for almost 200 nanometers, thanks to the short wavelengths involved. They also used a trick to record quantitative information. Using a semicircular mask in a pupil plane of the microscope, they could record differential phase images, which they used to calculate the extinction coefficients of various cell compartments via DPC processing. Taken together, this new method has the potential to enhance resolution and contrast and enable more accurate analysis of cellular structures in a quantitative measure. If you want to find out more, here's the paper.